Okay, so we've got all of these three batteries are now actually on charge and uh, being charged in parallel from the mains I've got uh, I'll draw this circuit up but it's pretty straightforward there's three bridge rectifiers so we've got the mains coming in from uh, it's the right hand one okay through a uh, thing and then that's feeding those three bridges on the AC so I've got three, three bridges that are rectifying separately to three lots of DC rectified okay and then the the negative sides are going through three resistors and I don't know if the camera will actually focus it but we'll see each one is a come on focus can I touch that there we go whoa that worked <laughs> uh, 7 watt 6.8 K okay and there's three of those Again, so, hey, touching the screen works. Look, it makes it focus. That's really good. I'm actually chuffed with that. There we go. Right, and they are uh, these. Th what I've done. <laughs> so what I've done is I've connected uh, wires, long wires. And you can see the black one there. Can I do this again? Yeah, look at that. Okay, so that's connecting a black and a red. You can see the red there as well the thin one right and they're coming through from all three so I've got the blacks and the reds okay coming up to the three connections so we've got the three reds there and the three blacks here okay from the three batteries right and then what I've got is uh, the like I said with to the resistors and these three so you've got a two whites and a yellow go through to the three blacks so they're to the three negatives on these batteries and then the positive side you can see I've got a red, a yellow and a white go through to the three positives here okay so the negative side is going through a resistor which is the uh... come on focus, you did it before there you go which is the 7 watt 6.8 K okay and they've all got separate resistors, they've all got separate bridges and separate resistors right and then we've got different voltages so we've got this one here okay 209 and that one's connected to this pack here this left hand one I believe is that right? yeah because we've got the wires through to that meter yeah 209 okay and then this one here which is currently on about 99 right is connected to the let me see now so we've got the center one this one is connected to the center pack this one here so we've got one for here and one for here and that one just isn't metered okay but we can see a voltage rise I'm not going to move it because I mean we've got hundreds of volts here so I don't really want to mess around with it while I'm on camera and electrocute myself so there we go we have three parallel chargers so let's just recap okay I have three Prius batteries and these are 273 volt batteries right which all three are charging now right from a mains power supply right <clears throat> and this one I believe in fact all three of them have actually reached the 273 volts right separately when I was separately charging them okay and so we had all three of them doing two they have all three reached their peak voltages they're probably still only on around about sort of the five or ten percent charged range but what I want you to do is get them all three charging right so that then that means and they're all charging from one single power point right a power connector there which is that one. I don't know. Can I get it? No, it didn't do it. See, I was trying to get this to focus. I'm experimenting with camera software. Right. So they're all charging from that one power point. Okay. Now, the regulators them, uh, the rectifiers themselves are two pound fifty. So the seven pound fifties worth of rectifiers. I think these resistors cost me. I don't know about fifty p. I think they were each. Okay. 
and then there's the wiring and stuff but I mean we're talking about what you know under a tenner right and I'm charging three Prius batteries from mains so anybody who tells you right that in order to charge a single Prius battery you need something that you've got to pay thousands of pounds for right don't know what they're talking about right because I'm charging three Prius batteries here from the mains right with a safe charger because it's charging very very slowly right and the total component cost of the to get the three charging is under a tenner okay so how much does it cost to charge Prius batteries it costs fuck all if you want to charge them from the mains you can do it just takes a long time okay if you want a high speed charger and incidentally the difference between a low speed charger and a high speed charger is just the resistor size the only thing I'm doing is being careful. I've got 6.8k resistors, right, which are 7 watts. And, uh, oh yeah, they're a little bit warm. The diff Ow, that one's quite warm, actually. <laughs> so we've got one here. This one's quite warm. And that's the middle one, right? And the reason why is because it's 100 volts, you see. And so this one is actually quite warm. But it can handle 7 watts. It's probably not even handling that. It's just warm because they do get warm when you're using them and that's the end of it sort of thing right but it's a ceramic it's not going to harm okay just move that a little bit out of the way there we go and that one is actually ow so that's pretty hot but these things they're 7 watt resistors it's a wire wound one and uh, it, it is designed to get extremely hot because that's why it's got a ceramic casing okay so even though that's going to get hot it's not really going to damage anything i might i might actually put something underneath it so that it doesn't damage the wood in fact uh, i have so you see this is eventually the sort of thing that i'm going to put in it and it's not done it has it look at that uh, a bit further away maybe come on focus it oh you're not going to do it are you no no are you I'm trying to get it to focus on it there you go look at that so that's a 5 watt 680 ohms right and then once this actually gets up to the high switch high high charging speeds I can put that in and it means that I'll be able to do it faster because I won't be dissipating too much through the actual um, through the resistor itself and so it can handle the 5 watts because I'm only trying to keep it within the resistor right now then I'm gonna have to switch off and put this down and stuff so but what well, this this resistor is getting quite hot I don't want it to you know <laughs> burn the wood so I'm going to put that underneath it so that it keeps the temperature off the wood but the I mean that one's that's warm I keep my finger on it. it's quite quite warm I wouldn't want to keep my finger on it because it's a little bit uncomfortable this one is is quite cool actually that one's only just warm that one there and I think that's probably because this one's the one that's on 210 yeah it is you see, so it's not dissipating so much. Which one's that our battery on? That's that's on this battery here. Yeah, which is currently at. Uh, is that one on metering? So it's that one, yeah. So this one here, right, is on 210 volts. So the potential difference across that resistor is going to be at the most 140, but it probably isn't because it pulls the the uh, the RMS voltage down because of the way it works okay so that's probably not even dissipating a watt right whereas this guy here is probably dissipating you know maybe in the region of 10 watts <laughs> you know and it's rated at seven but but yeah i've taken the you know those little resistors are only a quarter of watt or whatever they are right i've taken them and i've pumped like you know watts through them <laughs> and yes they burn but you know it, it's not it doesn't destroy itself so anyway, there we go. We have three Prius batteries now charging from the mains and the total component cost was a tenner. And that's that's in total for the three, not not ten pound each. So there you go. Just a yeah. Stop it.